In this tutorial, we're going to assign weights to goals and measures in two different ways. The first method will be the swing weight method, in which you assign points directly to each and every measure. Then after assigning the weights the first time, we're going to show you how to add an, a second set of weights under the term called new preference. And in this method, we'll use a hierarchical method, where we will first assign weights directly to the sub-goals, and then after assigning weights to the sub-goals, we're going to assign swing weights to the measures within each swing goal. And then afterwards, we're going to show you one new table or matrix that can be produced when you have more than one weight. It's called the comparison of rankings. And it's under the preference set summary. Here are the data that we're going to be using in this example. We're going to assign operating costs 100 points under the swing weight method. Type will have 80 points. Amount will have 60 points. And purchase costs will have 30 points. When you do that, the overall weight for each of the measures is in what we call the global weight, which is what our focus is right now. But it's also valuable to add up the global weights to find out what, how much weight is assigned to each sub-goal. So when you add the 0.22 and the 0.296, you get 0.519 for quality, and therefore for cost is 0.481. Another way that logical decisions can display the data, instead of global weights, it can show local weights, and we'll talk about that at some later time. In this tutorial, we're going to be using icons more than we use the words on top. If we wanted to insert weights, we could click on Assess and then the word Weights. But I can go directly to that Balance image, which is an icon for weights. So all I have to do is click on that Balance. When starting the assessment, make sure that, in this case, the overall goal is Best Lighting. And also, make sure the Weight Assessment method is the appropriate one that you want to use. Often, the first one that's listed is Trade-offs but we're interested in smart method, which is also called swing weights. The swing weight window lists each and every measure. It lists the least preferred level and the most preferred level, and the amount of points assigned to it. Notice the amount measure. The most preferred is a higher number, and the least preferred is a lower number. In purchase measure and the operating measure, in both cases, the most preferred level is a lower cost, and the least preferred level is a higher cost. And in the type measure, which you have to be careful with, make sure the least preferred in our case is fluorescent lights, and the most preferred is halogen. This is what the window will look like after I type in the appropriate points. I typed in 60 for amount measure, and it's critical that you hit enter. Until you hit enter, that number really hasn't been recorded. And then I typed in the 80, I hit enter, and then I went to operating costs, and I typed 30, and I hit enter. As a result of clicking done on the previous window, it computes all of the weights and it and asks you, are the computed weights okay? And here we click okay. And you need to click okay one more time. And make sure the weights have been appropriately assigned, you may need to refresh it to make sure you have the most current weights. In this case, maximize quality has a 0.519 and minimize cost is 0.481, and these are the global numbers. In the previous methodology, after assigning the individual weights to the measures, when we added up the global weight for quality, it was 0.51 and for cost was 0.49. Now we want to say, well, that's really not what, how much weight I want to assign to quality and cost, and I want to assign to quality directly that it should be 60% of the weight and cost is 40%. And then I want to divide that 60% into two pieces that add up to 100%, and I assign the local weights. And we'll see how we do that. We don't want to override the previous weights. We want to add a new set of weights as if it was another decision maker. So we click on the Change Preference Set button. The Select Change Preference Sets window starts out by highlighting the current preference set, which is the original one named New Pref. Now we're going to add a new preference. After clicking Add a New Preference, a window will show up. And the first question they're going to ask you, do you want to copy from an existing preference set? Yes or no? And in this case, we click No. Next, the preference set properties window comes up and the default name that's been given to this new preference is new pref dot set one. We're going to rename it to hierarchy. Because I said I didn't want to copy an existing preference, it goes back to the default weights, which is everything is given an equal weight. Now we're going to assess the weights and we click the weights button. This is the standard assess weights window. But in this methodology, what we're going to want to do is for each of the sub-goals or sub-objectives, maximize quality, we want to create its own MUF, or multi-measure utility function. We start by selecting max quality. 
After clicking on max quality, the default assumption is no muff. We're going to select the has a muff radio button. The next window asks you to confirm that you want to add a utility function for maximized quality. And you click yes. After selecting min cost, we once again have to select the has a muff radio button. Once again, it asks you to confirm. Next, we select the weights tab. The first task that we want to do is assign weights directly to the two sub goals. So we leave the goal as best lighting. And the weight assessment method that we're going to pick is direct assessment. We use a drop box and we identify the method we want to use, which in this case is direct entry. And we click the assess button. This is the window that will appear. The least preferred level, most preferred level have really no meaning in this case. We're going to want to input scaling constants 0.6 for quality and 0.4 for cost. This is what the new window will look like, and it shows the new calculated weights, which in this case are the numbers you just input. After clicking done on the previous window, it reverts back to the window of assess weights. Goal is listed as best lighting. We want to now go to each of the sub goals and assign weights to the measures within each sub goal. The drop box will show you the three goals. The main goal is best lighting. The two sub goals are maximize quality and minimize cost. We're going to select maximize quality. At this point, we want to use the swing weight method within maximize quality, so we have to go to the drop box and the weight assessment method and pick swing weights. After clicking on assess in the previous window, we now see please enter the swing weights for maximize quality. The numbers that we're using in this case is 100 for the amount measure and 70 for the type measure. We're going to input the, the 70 value and hit enter. After clicking done on the previous window, it computes the weights. Notice that these two weights add up to 1 because we're subdividing the weight of quality among these two measures. We return to the assess weights window, and now we need to change the goal to the one we want to work with, which is minimize cost. In this version of LDW, after you've selected min cost, it goes back to the default assumption of the assessment method is trade-offs, so you're going to need to use the drop-down box and pick swing weights again. In this example, operating measure is the highest ranked measure, and we give it a, leave the 100 points there, the default, and we want to assign 30 points to the purchase measure. We type in the 30 and press enter, and then we're going to click on done to calculate the weights. After completing the assessment, the measures under quality are the local weights, and the measures under minimum cost are the local weights. We're going to go in under hierarchy and select the screen to see what the global weights will look like. Under hierarchy, you select description, and you see a number of things listed there. We're interested in toggling back and forth between global weights and local weights. Now that we have two preferences, there's a report that's relevant to compare the two preferences. So we're going to go under results and we're going to pick preference set summary. Under this preference set matrix, there's first preference sets. In our case, we want to pick both of them, but one can imagine having 10 different preference sets and you may only want to pick two or three to look at side by side. And then we want to look at the overall score, so clicking on best lighting for member four, but one could look at it more carefully on individual measures. This is the preference set summary matrix, and you'll see one column is new preference set, which was the original one, and it gives you the values for each of the three. And now we just did the hierarchy, it gives you those values. It then reports a mean and a standard deviation. And notice in this particular case, with each preference set, 
The ranking is the same. Halogen is first, incandescent is second, and fluorescent is third.